Welcome to Red Eye. It's like PBS without the BS, but more P, whatever that means. We're here with Rachel Marston, Bill Schultz, the wonderful actor Michael Rappaport, star of The War at Home, a fantastically successful sitcom on Fox. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, really. And on remote, we have Amy Keene, a TV and entertainment reporter, and Professor Mark Lamont Hill, so assistant professor of urban education at Temple. How's it going? Good. Hi. Wake up. <laughs> We're here. Be alive. So, Michael, have you ever watched a Girls Gone Wild video? I have not. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why do I not believe you? <laughs> I, 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 I kind of had a feeling no matter what I said or how I said it, that, was, that would be your response. But I, I actually have it. Joe Francis said there isn't going to be any stripping and there aren't gonna be going to be any topless waitresses. So really, what's what's the point? No, like, but Hooters doesn't have any topless waitresses. Right? That's like Denny's. But well, Hooters doesn't have topless waitresses. Yeah. doesn't have topless waitresses. But they have big-breasted women. Oh, and so will girls go wild. So will the girls go wild No, the girls go wild have... Some of them are flat as a board, right? Girls go wild. A girls go wild restaurant will have big-breasted women and, and, and they're going to sell. Are you sell. sure about that? You're a professor, so I guess you. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, you know well, what it is. I've done research the on these things. You know, <laughs> what's the perfect what's the perfect woman in terms of size? Uh, I mean, you, me, uh, Jackie uh, Gutfeld. Is it your TV wife? <laughs> uh, she's beautiful. She's very beautiful. J Lo is not bad. I like. I mean, Giselle is a model. Yeah. See, like I like Giselle is 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 thin. Yeah. But those. Those runway miles take it to a whole other it's level. It's about proportion, though, right? Yeah, they look. Have you ever seen them up close? Those, 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 yeah. those fashion. I mean, it looks crazy. I like Katie Deffer. I don't know. Uh, Kaylee, Kaylee <laughs> Deffer, uh, my daughter on the show. Yes, that's yes. cool. Yeah, she's beautiful too. She's very beautiful. Is, now, do you have any kids? Two boys. Yeah, but you don't have any that age. Four and six. Yeah. yeah. So, she's her name Katie. Kaylee. 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 Okay, Kaylee. I'm glad you're doing your research. I know. Yeah. No, no. That's I spent at least an hour. No, she's very beautiful. She's very beautiful. So maybe you get tongue tied. Yeah. Does that, does that cause a problem playing her father when you have obviously other feelings? <laughs> 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 no, 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 it works out smooth. Well, I, you right. know what I want to know? I want to ask it's Professor the loincloth Hill. Thing. It's the loincloth thing. Though. I mean, it's not yeah. just that he's, you know, he's standing there naked. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm all for art. I don't have a problem with it, and I, I'm disappointed that other people do. But, you know, I think the difference here is not just that he's dark or that he's chocolate or that he's hanging up there in a museum, but that his, his penis is showing. Yeah. Yep. You know, and it's during Holy Week, and I think that offends a lot of people, so I can understand. I'm Catholic, though, and I'm not particularly offended. I think it's just another, I mean, you know, I was reading about this artist, this Italian so-called artist, and I just think it's like a publicity stunt yeah. to get his name You're out there. You're absolutely right. I mean, You're I absolutely right. I, I, gotta, I gotta move on. I just want to say, you couldn't make a sculpture out of chocolate of Muhammad because you would probably be killed. You know that, but you can get away with it with a Catholic because we don't care. Can you break <laughs> off the Jesus genitalia like the rabbit ears first? And you could freeze it and eat it for later. Yeah. Quickly, i got to move on. I've got to show my artwork, which I do every day. This is my ideal candidate. I call it Knut Ginrich. It's half Knut, the, um, <laughs> the polar bear. From from Berlin, she liked that. Yeah, she did. I know at least one person laughing. You were absolutely confused and angry. No, I like the Canute thing, but other than that, I wasn't with you. Yeah, okay. she did. Yeah, and it's, and it's half Canute, half Ginrich. And if you want to name this piece of art, send the name to Red Eye at FoxNews.com, and you will win an autographed original of, of me signing that. I'm losing my voice. How are you going to top Canute Ginrich? I don't know. Came up with yeah. the, yeah, that's right. I actually kind of already named it. You can have it if you like. I'm good. Let, let the people have it. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, how did a professor get on the show? I don't know. He didn't know what kind of show it was. Sir, <laughs> sir I hope you already have tenure. <laughs> oh, guys. All right, all right. Yeah, well, I'd rather talk about porn star Jenna Jameson, who was very upset because she had a vaginoplasty, and apparently it didn't yeah. go very well. And that just makes you think, like, what could have gone wrong? But she is so unhappy. She's not talking to anybody. She anyone. also, there. I saw some recent pictures of her, and she looks really. Going back to it's one of your first really, topics, she's really, really skinny. Right yeah. And it said it said too that she's not going to meetings because of this vaginoplasty gone wrong. How does this woman shake hands? Oh. Well, God. she doesn't use her hand. <laughs> That's for sure. I wonder. I, I wonder, a professor. Yeah. What do you think could have gone wrong that wrong down there? Do you think her turnstile well, fell out? I'm not sure. I've never had one, you know. But <laughs> um, but, but but I I can't imagine. I've never seen porn. I've never seen a reconstructed vagina, and so I have absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to salvage some bit of my career here. So I have no idea. I have no answer for you. I, lo I love how every one of our guests has never watched any porn. Uh, considering some I'm of sorry. their professions, I can understand that statement. I'll go on record. Some of, our, some of the hosts here have actually been in porn. <laughs> Bill? Greg, that was only issued to you. All yes, right. any animals that were involved. Well, all right. Oh. Let's leave oh. Hammy out of that. <laughs> Hammy the hamster. Sorry, I, buddy. I don't know. I just don't, I, it's so funny that a woman who has had sex with thousands of people are now, is now worried about what people think about 
I and don't also, know. I, I don't understand. She thinks that she has this uh, this operation. She's somehow going to go back to her pure, yeah, exactly. you know, virginal self. I don't even understand what. Well, what maybe, maybe it's like you know throwing a sausage into the Grand Canyon, and that's why she did it. Oh God! Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That suddenly made me very hungry. <laughs> sure. All right. On that note, on that fun note. thing to do if you're ever in the Grand Canyon, by the way. <laughs> well, Welcome back. Out there. Well, you know what? Doing this means there's no action happening. This is not what are you doing with your hand, thing. Rachel? What, what does that mean? That is what the professor was suggesting. Uh, what's, you mean this? Yeah, mm. talking. This, yeah, that. but this is you know <laughs> this is this is better than you know. You, you know, know what? How many? How much? You know what? I would riot over women's volleyball because they have the best uniforms. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen oh, American volleyball? Like it's like a no, baby. Oh, they, they know exactly why they're why they're popular. Um, why vo people are watching volleyball because they have these beautiful women, these really tight outfits, and they're really tall. And they're really tall. They're quite beautiful. It's like you the do. girls going wild restaurant again. I'm telling you, it's the outfits, it's the uniforms, it's the uniforms. And they just had the urge, probably, to you know do something to their butts and these hand gestures. Yeah, these hand gestures. Are every day. You're creeping me out, Rachel. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm creeping you guys out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like all right. <laughs> New York police have a 74-year-old woman in custody. They say a stolen parking spot at a mall sent the elderly woman into overdrive. That's a pun. Oh, she don't laugh. Police arrived to find the woman hacking away at the hood of an SUV with a pair of scissors. Police say she was cursing at a 33-year-old female driver who got to the parking spot before her. The old crone has been charged and has a court date next month. We hope she's learned her lesson and next time just blows the jerk's head off next time. And we're with uh, Tracy Westmoreland, our bar correspondent. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Great, Greg. How you doing? Don't you think that that old lady has a point i think there's nothing worse than somebody stealing your parking space hey listen i love a 74 year old scissor sister man she rocks <laughs> shout out to you scissor sister all right tracy it's mail time the address is red eye at foxnews.com send me something to read and i will try to read it stefan zengovsky from newcastle australia leads things off Damn you and your brand of pol political correctness, which attracts me from watching the Golden Girls. I hate you. Keep up the great bad work. By the way, are you related to Brian Kilmeade? The two of you look like twins, only you are chubbier. Oh. Uh, yeah, I do look a bit like him. I am sexier, though. <laughs> nice. Joseph Wine, or Ween, Wine, Ween. I apologize, Joseph, if I got your name wrong. Stationed over in Baghdad, writes, Rachel says she's from Canada. How come she never says what hockey team she roots for? Because I've never asked. Vancouver Canucks all the way. Mm -hmm. They're going to win the What was this year. thing? <laughs> no, it's a Canadian thing. I don't think it is, but anyway, I'm not going to disagree. <laughs>